In this Pitbull vs. Boar Bull breed comparison, we will compare both dogs against each other in every category. You'll learn about their history and why they earned their feared reputation. You'll also learn about their exercise and nutritional needs, as well as which dog is easier to train. So don't listen to the rumors. Let's find out the truth about these dogs and how they compare against each other. So let's start with history. In the 1600s, Dutch, German, and Huguenot workers settled in South Africa to farm the land. They brought their giant guard dogs with them. Over time, these dogs were mixed to create another large breed suited to the African environment. It is believed that bull types and mastiffs were the main breeds to create the boar bull. His two main roles were to protect farmers' land and animals and to hunt big game to feed his family. His huge size and impressive power allow him to fight off lions and packs of snarling baboons. And this alone is enough to put most people off inviting him into their home. On other hand, pit bulls are a human creation, and he was designed to be the perfect fighting dog. A mixture of different terriers and the English bulldog were used to create this tough and tenacious canine. He was used in the sporting ring to fight other dogs when cruel blood sports were in fashion. When the cruel sport was banned in England, ringmasters took their fighting dogs to America. There, the largest and strongest were bred with one another to create the American Pit Bull Terrier, while there are other dogs that are often mistakenly classified as pit bulls. Number 2. Appearance Difference The Boar Bull is the largest of the two dog breeds. Boar Bulls are a giant-sized breed, and Pit Bulls are medium to large-sized dogs. Boar bulls weigh between 150 and 200 pounds, compared to pit bulls, who usually weighs between 30 and 65 pounds, meaning boar bulls can be over six times the weight of a pit bull. For those trying to decide between these two pups, size alone can decide for them. They both have a short, straight double coat that is smooth to the touch. Number three, training difference. Training is a big difference between these two breeds. Usually, pit bulls are eager to please their master. They are also very intelligent, meaning that he is relatively simple to shape into an obedient pooch. This makes him a great option for first-time dog owners. However, the boar bull is a headstrong canine who is much more difficult to train. Anyone thinking of taking this breed on needs to have plenty of experience with large dominant dog breeds. Both dog breeds need socializing as a puppy. Start the process as soon as you get them home. Number 4. Nutrition Differness Another key difference between the two breeds is the monthly food bill. A typical pit bull will consume between two and three cups of food a day, compared to the enormous boar bull, who will consume between five and seven cups, meaning the boar bull sometimes eats over three times more than the pit bull. Like many giant dogs, boar bulls are an expensive breed to care for. The pity will do well on a kibble recommended for the pit bull. The boar bull will need a kibble that is designed for the specific nutritional needs of giant breeds. Always feed both of these guys age-appropriate food, especially during puppyhood. Number 5. Temperament Difference Both dogs are more different than similar in their personality, and both are social canines. They both love humans, especially their family pack. They both crave human companionship and love to snuggle on the sofa in the evening. Pit bulls are notoriously inseparable from their master's lap when watching the telly. The boar bull might pick the floor, but he is likely to jump on your lap too. All 200 pounds of him. They are both fond of children, and they are both known as nanny dogs. Although you should never leave children alone with any dog breed, you can rest assured that your children will find a caring canine sibling in both of these breeds. This is why they are both regularly used as therapy dogs who visit children's hospitals. If you have super small children, the lighter pit bull might be the better choice. Number 6. Exercise Difference Both dogs are relatively similar when it comes to their exercise needs. They both need around 60 minutes of exercise a day. Boar bulls need regular low-impact exercise to meet his big body needs. He is great at pulling heavy carts, and it would be great to put his power to use in his exercise. The pit bull also needs intense exercise, but exercise that requires agility rather than power. Without adequate exercise, both of these guys will become destructive and problematic. In between exercise sessions, the boar bull needs less mental stimulation throughout the day. Keeping an eye out for intruders and protecting the property is stimulating enough.
but pit bulls will need various active play sessions to remain healthy, happy, and out of trouble. Pick a tough toy for the pit bull and one that challenges his mind too. He is more intelligent than he looks. Number 7 Grooming Difference Both dogs have simple grooming regimes thanks to their short and straight coats. They will both need brushing once a week to keep them looking and feeling their best. Brushing helps to spread natural coat oils, remove dirt, and stimulate blood circulation in the skin. It is also great for bonding with your pup, so everyone's a winner. The only difference is that because the boar bull is bigger, it'll take slightly longer to brush him. Both boar bulls and pit bulls are moderate shedders. This means a simple bristle brush will work for both when it comes to grooming. Both dogs need bathing once every two to three months, or as and when they need it. Number 8 Health Problems Thankfully, both dogs enjoy better than average canine health. All purebred dog breeds are prone to a selection of health concerns because of their genetics. Meaning it's important to learn about the most common conditions in each breed. As a giant-sized breed, the boar bull can be more costly when it comes to the overall cost of vet bills and insurance. And he has a shorter lifespan of the two. So this is something to consider. Pit bulls are predisposed to hip dysplasia, which is one of the most common canine health conditions. This congenital condition occurs when the hip socket and the ball portion of the upper thigh bone are misaligned. This can cause hip dislocation and painful arthritis in later life. Like many terriers, pit bulls are prone to various skin conditions such as ichthyosis, zinc-responsive dermatosis, and other allergy-related problems. Number 9 Price Differness The puppy price of the boar bull is, on average, much higher than the pit bull. The pit bull is one of the most common dog breeds in America. You've only got to look at how many of them there are in rescue shelters. This makes the price of the pity much lower. Plus, like all giant dog breeds, boar bulls are more costly to breed. The price of a pity from a reputable breeder starts from around $1,000, compared to $1,500 for a boar bull pup.